Hello, so uh, I'm Hugh Bernard-Rand, and I'm the CTO of Humanity, which is provide a set of collaborative tools which want to be ethical and ecological. Being ethical, we wanted to protect our user privacy, and therefore we're trying to minimize the amount of exploitable data we collect about them. And being a messaging app, we naturally went toward end-to-end -end encryption. And here's my learning along this journey. What is end-to-end -end encryption? So basically, it's a system of communication where only the communicating user can read the data. It allows you to respect your user privacy, but also, if your data is compromised or monitored, well, it becomes less of an issue because it's unexploitable. It works with a lot of keys. So you have symmetric keys, where it's basically one key for both encrypting the message and decrypting the message. And you have asymmetrical keys, where you have one key to encrypt the message and the another one to decrypt the message. In the case of a messaging app, you will have the recipient using the publicly known keys of the recipient to encrypt the message. And then the recipient uses this private key to decrypt the message. In end-to-end -end encryption, you use a mix of both of those type of keys. You have asymmetric, key, asymmetric keys that are associated with each user, and then symmetric keys that are associated with each message. So you encrypt a message with a symmetric key that is generated on the fly, then you encrypt that message key with the asymmetrical key or publicly of the recipient. It's like putting a key to a lock in a box lock with a key. Try to say that three times really fast. But why do I care, me as a mobile developer, right? Well, it forces you to rethink your app to be local first. So as the definition imply, only the communicating user can read the data, and your server is not a communicating user. Your app cannot be anymore just a layer of a UI on the top of a powerful set of APIs. End-to-end -end force you to shift some of that computational process from your server to your engineer, mobile engineer. More money for us. So searching your content, for example, is something that should be trivial, right? But now your uh, server don't have access to that data. It can't help you in that task. So you need to build a complex layer of data synchronization and then a local search engine just for that feature. And step by step, you will probably need to shift more of your user computational on data and processing locally. So basically, you have to rethink your app to, be, to work offline. Another uh, implication of end-to-end -end is like a decision between security and safety. What should happen if your user loses his device? Should all his data be lost, which is security? Or should he be able to recover it one way or another, which is safety? Decisions like this need to be made really early in the process because they will have deep implication on your UX and, you, and all your UI. And informing your user about those kind of things is not really trivial because it can be way beyond its comprehension. So that leads to UX complexities. Uh, WhatsApp constantly educates the user about that. For example, that's a message that tells you, like, well, now this chat is secure. But there's a more complex one. For example, desynchronization can arise. There will be scenario that your keys are not yet available, but the content is. For example, if the sender, if you install a new uh, WhatsApp on a new device, you don't have keys yet, and the uh, sender need to re-encrypt that message with your new keys. And it's fairly complex to explain. Is WhatsApp explanation? Uh, lucky for you if you understand it. So, in order in to, to summarize a little bit, you will have to decide between security and safety you will have to rethink your all user experience to be local first and to inform your user of why this is happening like that, why there is some delays and so on. You will have to shift computational pro uh, processing, uh, your data will be more protected, your user will trust you, and some companies will not be able to snoop your data. Thank you.